Guys, what is that on the table in front of you? Well, that is the CJRB Riff prototypes that came back from the show with me yesterday. I absolutely fell in love with this knife at the show. I'm still in love with it. It's the day after the show. I don't ever film on Sundays, and I'm filming this on a Sunday for you guys. I love this knife. So we're not going to spend a lot of time here. Let's flip it around and take a look at this awesome, awesome knife from above. Guys, I am super excited about this. These are the Riff prototypes. Now, I am putting these in my pocket, but you will not see this video. I'm doing first impressions, I mean. I'm going to do first uh, first damn pockets as soon as I can. I'm all excited. You're not going to see this video until after I do the live feed with Russell and we can talk about the knives. But these are the Riff prototypes from CJRB and I fell in love with this knife the second I saw it at the show. You've got a great, great button lock, beautiful blade profile, all of that stuff we're going to talk about as soon as we get done doing some size comparisons. So your first knife is going to be the Oaks Works EDX Solar Storm. Another knife that came back from the show with me yesterday. I just wanted to put it in here because Eric was kind enough to send this home with me. We're going to get to see another knife from here before too long. But you can see this is pretty comparable to the 940, um, which you're going to see in a second. But this is this is a fairly bulky knife and I dig it. So let's get this out of the way. Your next knife is... As I said, the Benchmade 940, so you can see, as with the Solar Storm, it's a good bit larger. So let's move on to our final knife, the Chris Reese Sabenza Large 21, lengthwise, tip to tip, pivot to pivot, tail to tail, just about the same. I think this is just a little bit longer because it has this angle here. It could be some parallax, but this is just a good bit dimensionally larger. So let's get this out of the way and talk about this great, great knife. I, I love this knife. Let's get this out of the way and start talking about it. All right. So let's actually get into this. I absolutely love this knife. I think this is my favorite version of it right here, but I came back with two versions. So this is a black micarta that is done in a flat it's done in a button lock ARRPM 9 steel and the blades on these are gorgeous now i like this one a little bit more i typically like a, a all black version of a knife but this knife with all these facets and stuff on it in this fine stone wash looks really good so you've got a very very nice clip point drop point blade that gives me the same vibe that I get from some of the arcane knives. I really love those aggressive, aggressive looks that you get from some of these. Big fuller down the blade that absolutely removes a good bit of material and lightens that up. The jimping on it is okay. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But you're done with a, you've got a button lock flipper that the action on is great. You can reverse flick off the fuller. Same with this one, the action on these are better. I think this one actually has a little bit better action than that one, but beautifully, beautifully done. Like I said, reverse flick off of it in hand, super comfortable, super, super comfortable on this first impressions. Um, it is done really well with nice liners. They didn't even do any weight reduction, which gives it a nice hefty feel. Now, one of the other things that I like, and I don't know if this is going to be something they keep doing. Uh-oh, just noticed the big smiley face. Um, there is an inlay on these that I absolutely love because the fact is you can customize this knife. You can personalize this. Uh, if I have one of these, if this is something I get to keep, I'm probably going to put my Crazy Sharp logo, the cross swords on that and personalize that knife. Um, so it gives you a little bit of levels of customization. Pocket clip on it, not a hot spot so far. Like I said, I haven't carried these yet, but I will say they're super comfortable in hand. Um, all the bells and whistles on this that you're getting are great. There is a lanyard hole, which, you know, I don't like, but it's done in a fashion where it's really not that intrusive. Like that lanyard hole is not as bad as others. It doesn't show up near as badly on this, but look at it. It's so happy. My knife is smiling. Um, it shows it's, it's almost like easier to see on the black version, but I like both of these. Now I do have to say as much as I like this and we'll see what it feels like after carry, there's a couple little things that I did notice. So let's go ahead and turn it around and we'll look at this one by itself and talk about the bad things I've noticed. Actually, no, we're gonna we're gonna leave this one here for a minute because there's one of the things on here that doesn't. Um, there is going to be some issue with sharpening on this uh, if you don't want to get a smile. You can see how much thicker that gets there. Um, you can see right there on that reflection, that line that you're seeing, that's technically where the 
the grind thins out and comes down. On this one, you can see it's not as sharp as it could be. There's some misgrinds on it. Now, these prototypes are handmade, so that could have something to do with it. This one does have a little bit of stick to the to the lock that does not bother me it seems to bother some people that does not bother me that much and typically once you take these apart clean them up and you dry off that lock that stick kind of goes away i'm not seeing anything horrible in here that looks like it's going to cause issues but the prototypes sometimes do have a little bit of stick i don't dislike it it does not bother me to have that little bit of stick and then on this one it's not as bad this pocket clip seems to be a lot tighter and stiffer this pocket clip i don't know if it's just a thinner clip has got a lot of move to it and it's really noticeable on these slick scales now this micarta is not as coarse as a lot of the other cgrb and artisan knives this has a lot more polish to it which means it's going to feel a little bit more slick in hand and that pocket clip absolutely does move more on this one. There's a little bit of play in that. Now, that's not a functional issue, but when you're when you're grabbing hold of the knife to flip it, you can feel it. Because that's typically where I grab it. And that's why I have such a problem with it. But I think this one has a, a much... You can see much more right there how much thicker the edge is there than it is here. This one is much more pronounced, and you can see that line. So I would like to see either that grind come back and stay thin there or just open that up just a little bit more. Just a little bit more so you, when you're sharpening, you don't get the smile. That doesn't affect it really, but it does affect the aesthetics in my opinion. So all in all, I'm, I'm really digging this knife. I love this knife. This was the... I think this was the one at the show that I was like, I, I do like this. Now, I, I want to say the jimping on this is not as aggressive as I want. I said that the jimping was okay. I would like it to be a little more aggressive. But on the CGRB prototypes, and especially on ones that have been stonewashed, uh, because they do an aggressive stonewash, the jimping on this one's a little bit better. Sometimes they get softened up a little bit. So we'll have to see how the actual production version of these knives are. We'll see if they keep the inlay. But so far first impressions on these i'm stoked so let's turn this around and send you back out about so your yeah there you go guys like i said i fell in love with this the second russell showed it to me i was he was like i got the prototypes ready you're taking these home we'll do the live feed i was like okay i was i could not wait to film this uh i i'm not i'm not posting this up till after russell and i do the live feed where we talk about the knives but i definitely am going to carry and use at least one of these so Man, guys, if you can get one of these, I, if I can find a purchase link, I'll put it down below. But if you can get one of these, you are not going to be disappointed. It is awesome. I think this is my favorite CJRB knife yet. I, I love the Rhea, but I think this I think this has it beat. So, guys, that's it on this one. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you wanna support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you do hit the bell icon, make sure you set it to all and make sure you got notifications turned on your device. Likes are the most important thing for a channel. A lot of us channels are struggling right now. Something changed on YouTube. All of us are seeing a very big reduction in views. So likes push us back up the algorithm. So if you watch a video for more than 15 seconds, please do drop a like. If you want to support the channel financially, ton of affiliate links down below that are on Amazon, all the tools and stuff that are down at the bottom. Anything that you use, anything you want to purchase, even if it's not that item, like if you're buying shampoo, just use one of those affiliate links, connects you to Amazon. I get credit for any purchase you make with that affiliate link, even if it's not the item. Coffee brand coffee and doll strong knives. Coffee brand coffee is some of the best coffee you're going to get. No politics, no pandering, just coffee. They take that money and they dump it back into the business to make it better. And doll strong knives have got some of the coolest knives that you're going to find at the price point. So if you want to do it another way, I have got a membership down below. We're getting close to like 70 or 80 subscribers at this point. So I said I was no, I'm said I'm going to do a big giveaway when I hit a hundred subs. Um, but yeah, uh, all the tiers have access to my Gilded server. Baseline and premium tier members are entered into giveaways that I do on the server. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series that's on here on YouTube behind the paywall. Guys, I hope that made sense. I was really excited because I like these knives. And like I said, it's early on a Sunday morning. Uh, if you like, give the videos a like if you like them. Um, I love y'all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.